All right, guys, it's cold again. I know it looks beautiful because the sun's shining, but it's like seven degrees out here. It's freezing. So anyways, I just moved a cool little project in the shop. We're going to get started on where it's nice and warm. So let's go check it out. All right, this is the plan. I have no idea if it's a good plan or a bad plan, but this is the plan. We're going to attempt to make a long reach extension out of this old girl. So here's a real quick overview of what I got in mind. First thing is all the thumb, that's all gotta come off. We gotta shed as much weight as we possibly can. This bucket is a little too big for what we're gonna do, but it's what we got, the price is right. So we may end up cutting some holes in it and doing a few things to try and lighten it up a little bit, but we're probably gonna have to make it work. So down here, <clears throat> I'm gonna cut this thing off right here on this line, cut it off square all the way around. And I'm gonna build me a coupler there where the, um, where the quick coupler on my machine will latch into it, which when it's all said and done, <clears throat> Excuse me. When it's all said and done, it should give me about 12 more feet of reach. I'm going to leave the cylinder on there. I'll take the hoses, hook them into my auxiliary hydraulics on my machine so I can still articulate the bucket, I guess, and go from there. Now, I am fully aware that this is not going to be a true long reach machine. I get that. And I know it's going to be awkward and it's probably not going to work the absolute best in every stinking scenario possible. But listen to me. Here's my thinking. This thing right here, I don't know if you guys watched the video. I think it was wrapping up 2018 where I went and picked up the Traco over in Ohio. Well, the guy that bought the Traco is parting this one out. And we got a deal. He gave me the stick out of his machine. I don't have a dime in this thing sitting here. Only thing is, is he says he wants to be able to use it every once in a while, which is perfectly fine because obviously this is an attachment that's going to get used a whole bunch. So, I got some scrap metal. I'm going to have some time and fabbing up the end down there, torching, welding, maybe a couple hydraulic hoses. I'm thinking I may have $500 in a day and a half in this thing. There's a lot of scenarios I get into, whether it be tearing down a two-story house or cleaning out a ditch on the farm or a small dredging project here and there. A uh, boat slip uh, on a creek, something like that. It does not justify renting a long reach machine and bringing it in there to do it. So, if I can rig this thing up for 500 bucks, use it two or three times a year, I will deal with it not being just the cat's meow for every scenario. So, I don't know. It may be a big flop. You guys are just going to have to stay tuned to find out whether or not it works or not. But we're going to give it our best go and see what happens. All right, guys, this is where we're at on this project. Got the thumb torched off. It's laying there. Got the uh, head cut off. It's up there. If anybody want to know what the inside of a John Deere 490 stick looks like, that's it. That little guess up there kind of caught me off guard. I didn't expect that, but we got her off there. So anyways, this is what I come up with. I'm going to take this plate and weld it on there like that and i got these ears that'll go on that plate and then the pin will get welded in there is the plan you got pretty lucky on that i called my buddy in the machine shop in town and he whipped those out real quick for me and dropped them off on the way home so that was awful nice of him i'm just gonna weld these pins in I know that's like not the ideal or the proper thing to do, but here's my theory. If I use this thing enough to wear out these pins, I'm pretty sure at that point I can afford to uh, buy new pins and weld them and put them in. I don't think this thing's going to get enough use to uh, mess with putting pins and or putting bushings and keepers and a whole lot of other stuff. So we're going to take the easy way out on this one, weld them in and... Uh, go from there so i'm going to get all this stuff mocked up and get it kind of tacked into place and maybe do a test fit on the excavator make sure we don't need to change an angle or position of anything and go from there so see what happens all right guys here's the adapter plate i've got it all mocked up i just got it tacked together that plate 
and get turned and welded on to the end of there. But before I get too carried away with this thing, wow, I need to fix my hair. Sorry about that. Uh, before I get too carried away with this thing, I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna do a dry fit on the excavator. I wanna make sure it uh, fits. I don't want any surprises after I sit here and weld for two hours and then find out it don't fit. So I'm gonna throw it down here on the floor, walk track hoe up here, make sure this thing clips in the way it's supposed to be. And then we're gonna go down welding. So let's see if she fits. It's like a glove. I don't see no reason why that's not gonna work. We're gonna weld this bugger up and see what happens. All right, guys, here it is after I got it all uh, welded up and everything attached to the stick here. It turned out pretty pretty darn good. I'm a little worried about that joint being strong enough to bait where to put a gusset or something in there, but I think we're gonna go with it, see what happens. So. The next step is I got to get my hydraulics hooked up. So I think what I come up with, we're going to come out of here with a hose, come up here to that hole I drill and put some sort of bracket to hold it. And then it'll go from there on up to the machine. So trying to get that mocked up, see what I come up with. Uh, the next thing is I've got to lose some weight on this bucket. So uh, I might cut the center out of that H link. Probably going to cut a little bit out right here. Cut some Swiss cheese holes in that bucket. And I think I'm going to go ahead and take and cut the, uh, cut the cutting edge off right there above the teeth and uh, basically make it a smooth face because, let's face it, we're not going to be digging hard materials with this. We're going to be digging mud or swamp or, or loose stuff. So it's coming along pretty nice. Um, I don't know. I'm excited about it. Curious to see how it works. I think it'll come in handy from time to time. Okay guys, here it is on the machine. We got her all uh, hooked up. I got end up building me a bracket and splitting my hose right there. I use this hose on a couple different attachments. I don't want to spend four or five hundred dollars on hoses. So, and I welded me a cap right there. Um, that cap will go on that hose. So if you're not using the attachment, you can cap it off. But we did some uh, did some Swiss cheese work on the bucket there. Probably shed about 150 pounds off of it. It uh, I don't know if it was necessary or not, but that bucket's too big. But I'm just gonna have to get by with it for now. But I am absolutely amazed of how well the machine handles it. I did pick up one scoop of dirt, kind of swimming around, and uh, you do have some limitations, especially over the side. But uh, it, it handles it way, way better than I thought it was going to. But from that pin to that pin, I basically gained 12 feet. So, like I said, it's, uh, it's not really a long reach. It's more like an extension. But I could be wrong, but I'm guessing for no more money than I got in that thing, and as easy as what it is to take on and off the machine, it's going to come in handy from time to time. Time will tell, but I'm pretty dang happy with it. I got a couple jobs coming up I need it for, so uh, I'll be sure to get some video of it, and we'll find out together how well it works. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, if you could just take a few seconds to hit that thumbs up button, that'd be greatly appreciated. And if you want to make sure you don't miss out on the next great adventure or the next project on Dirt Perfect, hit that subscribe button. <laughs>